Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lab Cafe's practical session. In this session, we will do another experiment on simple pendulum. The aim of the experiment is to study variation of time period of a simple pendulum of a given length by taking bobs of same size but different masses and interpret the result. In our previous session, we have discussed what is a simple pendulum and its working principle. In addition to that, we have seen how to take a reading using a stop clock. We also have seen how to take the mean diameter of a bob using a vernier caliper. In this experiment, I have taken three bobs with different materials. The materials are copper, steel and aluminium. Procedure. We will measure the diameter of each of the bobs. Check our previous video on how to find the mean diameter of a bob using a vernier caliper. We have found the mean diameter of copper, steel and aluminium are 1.89 cm, 1.9 cm and 1.89 cm respectively. Hence, the radius are 0.945 cm, 0.95 cm and 0.945 cm respectively. After measuring the mean diameter of the bobs, I will measure their mass using a digital balance. To do so, I will press the on off button and wait until the display stands by with 0.0. .0. After that, I will place the copper bob gently on it. As you can see, the mass of the copper bob is 29.6 grams. The mass of the steel bob is 28.8 grams. And the mass of the aluminium bob is 10.1 grams. By using a meter scale, I have already measured the length of the hook separately. As the measured length of the hook of each of the bobs is 1.1 cm, the diameter of each of the bobs is 0.95 cm. Therefore, to make the effective length of the pendulum 50 cm, I have to take the length of the thread 47.9 cm by using a formula L equals to L plus R plus H. I measure the length of the thread 47.9 cm. I will mark this point with ink. Then, I will set up the pendulum experiment as it was discussed in our previous video. After that, I will take the time taken for 20 oscillations for each of the bobs. First, I have taken the copper bob. As it is observed, the time taken for 20 oscillations is 26 seconds. Take two more readings and calculate the average. After that, I have taken the steel bob and observed the time taken for 20 oscillations. As we can see, it's 26 seconds. Take two more readings and calculate the average. Similarly, take the aluminium bob and observe the time taken for 20 oscillations. It is seen 26 seconds. Take two more readings 
and calculate the average. After calculating the time period for each of the bobs, it is observed that the time period is 1.3 seconds for each of them. Therefore, it can be concluded that for same value of effective length and acceleration due to gravity, the time period of bobs for different masses are same, which is 26 seconds. Precautions The thread should be very light and strong. The point of suspension should be reasonably rigid. The pendulum should be oscillate in the vertical plane without any spin motion. The floor of the laboratory should not have any vibration which may cause a deviation from the regular oscillation of the pendulum. The amplitude of the vibration should be very small, less than 15 degree. The length of the pendulum should be as large as possible in the given situation. Determination of time for 20 or more oscillations should be carefully taken and repeat for at least 3 times. There must not be a strong wind blowing during the experiment. So, these are the step by step procedure to do another experiment on simple pendulum. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. Subscribe our channel for more videos on practical experiment. Feel free to comment in the comment section. We will see you in the next video.